Hey guys, this is Logan and Trevor with JoyNerds.com, and here we have our second update off the uh, XDA forums for the new build of uh, ICS for uh, the Motorola Zoom Wi-Fi. As you can see, the green flash is gone, and the device overall is performing way, way faster. Okay, uh, there's our new email sound. But um, we've installed the market and the other Google applications, so we can take a quick look at those. As you can see, the market, everything's really big. Uh, we're hoping that's going to be changed later on and that this is just simply the phone version, not the final version. As you can see up in the top here, we have the ICS menu button now. and But overall, the, the look and feel is still very similar. Um, as you can see how fast the device is right now, even when I'm just pressing the multitasking, it opens instantly. And I'm able to close an application with a swipe of the finger. Um, as stated before, the camera isn't working. It's unable to connect to it, but uh, we're hoping to build that fix that in a very soon update. Now we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working in the current build. So uh, we can take that out and just test it out real quick in a little bit. But uh, as of right now, we're just going to show you maybe how these games run on it. All right, here we have Apparatus. We'll just start a quick game for you just to uh, show you how well it can see. Look at that. Load time is absolutely nothing and uh, still fully compatible. Oh, and uh, as you can notice right here, the bottom left, we have our new menu button instead of that old, ugly one that was on Honeycomb. Now, uh, some of the other things that are on here is um, the new email application and the new uh, calendar application. The email application isn't too much different. It's a little bit faster. Uh, the interface is a little bit different, which is definitely welcome. Now, as far as the browser goes, the browser is a vast improvement from the original uh, Google one. As you can see how fast it is right here, and we can just go from tab to tab, no problem. And it has a built-in uh, built menu for desktop site. So no longer having to download third-party browsers or uh, using the About Debug section. Um, everything else has stayed pretty much the same. Uh, there's still a few changes. That's right. Uh, so uh, we're just going to show you some of the widgets, too. As you can see, our app drawer here is uh, pretty much the same as Honeycomb. But our widgets are in here as well, and they're way, way better. So you can see how fast it is, very responsive, and if you want to add one, you just hold it on like Honeycomb, click it, drop it on there, and it's there. Um, I'm just going to choose this account. All right. Now if I want to resize it, just hold it, or not, here we go, and drag it. So no, no longer that two column, you can have it as big as you want. It's definitely welcome, especially since we have the uh, Honeycomb style thing here, it's a little bit bigger and better for the tablet, as you can still see. Our uh, multitasking is still very fluid, even this early of a build. See how fast the device is? Just swipe to exit. Uh, if you want to see the comparison to the original Zoom, or I have a Zoom Wi-Fi here with Honeycomb on it, I'll show you a quick comparison between the two. Now, you can see here's the uh, home page on them. Um, try to press these at the same time. See, this one came up at least a good half second to a second beforehand, and it's uh, way smoother, especially when switching between applications. All right, well, there's build number two. Hopefully, we'll see some new updates in the future, and uh, keep you guys updated.